Guys, back in the Supercar Street Racing amazing kitchen, and we were lucky enough to work with a company on this guy right here, which we're going to be unboxing today. And you can't see it until after the intro, which is after the intro on Supercar Street Racing today. So happy to have you back on the channel. So hyped to have you watching today. And we have this Jow set air purifier to take a look at today. I was lucky enough to work with this company and they sent me this air purifier free of charge. It does have a HEPA filter and we're going to take a look at everything it does. And there's some of the things that it filters out of your life and into this lovely filter right here. So we're going to get this thing out of the box right now and take a look at it. The Jow set is looking so fresh and is trying to make your air fresh. And you can see right here that it's got a carbon filter. It captures 99.97% of all the airborne particles. It has a sleep mode and a four speed fan. So we're gonna be taking this out of the box right now, but there's a look at how it looks box. And the side of the box here, it's got a color display in automatic mode four speed fan, ultra quiet sleep mode, timer and a child lock and it is Wi-Fi enabled as well. Let's get it out of the box completely and take a look. Oh, some contact information here for Jow Set. So the Jow Set air purifier comes with a filter already installed and if you look at the label it says replace the filter in a timely manner meaning that they want you to keep replacing the filter at, on a regular basis rather than using a dirty filter. Having a dirty filter on your air purifier literally does nothing for you if it can't filter out. And inside we have an instruction manual, a remote control, and also this would be the power adapter for the Jowset air purifier and there's a look inside of it. Let's get this filter unboxed right now and see what's inside of this bag condom. All right, reinstalling the Jow set, you just take this filter, drop it straight in there, and then it turns and locks just like that. And then over here, we have this beautiful power adapter that we need to get unboxed, and it is in a nice air poppable condom. Nothing can happen to this guy because it is so protected that will never have babies in that air condom. And here's the power adapter for the for the Jow set. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Jow set. Jowset.com. And they have a YouTube channel, a Facebook page, and we will be helping these guys promote this unit. And showing you guys everything that comes with it. And if you look inside of this other plastic condom, we have some more documentation. Let's move this candle before we burn the house down. And we have a nice remote control as well. That comes in this bag. However, this thing is Alexa capable. We also got this nice tag that says Opera. And has the jowset.com website, the email address, the Facebook page, the Instagram, and the YouTube. And these guys are serious about promoting their product. Now this does not come with batteries. Maybe there are batteries in here. They do not come with batteries. Okay, no batteries. But it did come with a little instruction manual to tell you how to replace the filter. But I figured it out on my own. But there is how you do it. You turn the lock to the left, you pull out the filter, you get the power adapter out, put the filter back in and tighten it. And there it tells you that the power adapter is inside of the Jow set. And let's get this thing turned over now. And you can see right here, right now that the unit 
just turns straight over like this. And yes, the phone is going crazy, but yeah, there is the unit. There is the display. I don't know if we get some peel satisfaction. No, we don't. But on the back, there is the power adapter that we can now get this thing connected with. And the jowl set plugs into a standard 110 volt outlet, which I will <laughs> plug in with my foot. And the plug goes just like that. And the guy already made a noise, so let's go up front here and see what it says. Nothing yet, so at this point we need to refer to the manual because I don't know how you get this thing up and running and I don't know how you connect it to Wi-Fi, but here is a user guide. Let's get that opened up ASAP. So this guy uses Smart Life, which is what a lot of the generic Wi-Fi devices use. And it says, connect it to power. And I just need to see what device this guy uses. So I'm gonna look at this a little bit more because it's supposed to be smart life, but let me get into this a little bit more. Guys, we are on the phone now and you can see the app is actually called Smart Home Life, not Smart Life, so two different apps. And when we open this guy up right here right now, it's going to be different than the regular and I need to sign in, so I'm gonna do that now. And we are back in the app and it says confirm it is blinking and it is. And we need to get our Wi-Fi network here. That's Bluetooth. All right, so we need to be on a 2.4 gigahertz network. Let's, have, let's check that one off and you guys cannot see this part. So our device is being added right now to Alexa, and then we'll have to put a skill on Alexa to actually control it with Alexa, but that comes later. And the, let's see, the skill is called just Smart Life, which I already have. Looks like it's adding, or trying to add, but I don't see that yet. That didn't work. I clicked it and it said okay. All right, let's try it again. I'm holding down the reset button. There it goes. It's a 402, and it is blinking. Oh, I put the wrong network. It's supposed to be 2.4. I put a five gigahertz, that's why. It's supposed to be 2.4, that's my error. It can't connect to a five gigahertz, guys, so don't even try. It doesn't like that. And I am connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, I was finally able to put the Wi-Fi in after I closed the app completely. It is trying to add to the network now. Let's see if it's actually going to be successful or not. Okay, it worked. And we are on the Wi-Fi network now. So our air purifier is on and connected to Wi-Fi. So back to the camera we go. Okay, we just saw what you do in the smart home life and we just held down this power button for five seconds. You can see the Wi-Fi indicator. Back on the camera, we have the Jowset air purifier connected to Wi-Fi here. And so, really the next part of this is just controlling it from Alexa if you want to. And there are voice commands listed right here on the page. So that's a look at the fan speed. The child switch and the power for Alexa 
And then the whole user manual is right here next to it. Go over some of the areas of the air purifier that you need to understand what they are. So first we have the air outlet area here on top. So you can clearly feel up here that there is a rush of air coming out of the air outlet. And then the next thing is the control panel. The control panel is right here on the front. The air inlet is right here on the bottom. So you have the outlet up here on top and the air inlet on the bottom. And then we have the shell of the unit here, which is this whole plastic area right here. That is the body and shell of the unit. The handle is right here. And right here for two-handed use for your enjoyment. The power adapter interface is on the back. And you can see here we have power from the 110 US outlet right here to the power adapter. And there is the information for the jowl set right there. And the air quality sensor cover is marked as back here. So that would be right there. That's the air quality sensor cover. And then inside the unit, which is under, which you already saw, that's the HEPA filter. The H13 HEPA filter is down there. Now, right here, right now on the display, you do see a blue indicator. According to the manual right here, blue means our air quality is very good. If it goes to green, it's good. Yellow to moderate and red is polluted. So right now we have a good air quality indicator on the front of the gel set. Taking a look at the front here, the button here on the far left is the on off button. Right next to it you got the fan speed button, the sleep button right there marked with a little nighttime moon with a Z. We got the filter reset button right next to that where it says HEPA. The timer button after that and the child lock button. And then on the display up here where it says number like up there on the numbers PW 2.5 that does not indicate what that is in the actual manual. Two is the air quality indicator, which is that blue line. And in the middle, there would be a HEPA if you had to replace your filter. There's a timer over here on the right, which is not lit up right now. And down in the lower left-hand corner, there are some LEDs which are not up yet. And there is some Lower right, there should be a sleep mode if you're in sleep, but that would be next to the Wi-Fi indicator there. Right in front of me is the remote for the JetSau air purifier. And if we open this right here, looks like it uses AAA and we may or may not have AAA batteries in the Supercar Street Racing battery storage facility. But it looks like we do have a couple of AAA batteries available right here. Is it AAA or AA? Ah, it's AA? Oh, it's AAA, okay. And batteries go straight in like this. And this other battery is being a pain, but here is one right here. And the remote goes back in just like this, guys. And here's our remote for the Jow set. All ready to have fun. And as we see on the instructions here, we have the on off button. We have a fan speed. We have a filter reset, a timer and a sleep mode. So let's play with this. And we see right here, the first indicator came on, which means low speed. That means middle speed, and I heard a pickup in the fan. And that is high speed there on the indicator. And that is turbo mode. So it has gotten very loud as you can hear. And now we are in auto mode.
which is the mode that I prefer, and that means the unit will decide how much or how little the fan speed will be on or off. As you can see, we are in auto mode right now, but we could go into timer mode where we would press this button and we could set a time that the unit will run. And this little sleep mode thing here with the little moon and the Z's can be engaged to go into sleep mode. And then there's a child lock right there at the end that you can also use as well to keep anyone from playing with your amazing HEPA filter. And I'm still not sure what the digital display is indicating with the number because it does not say. It does not say what that number even means, but I'm assuming it's something to do with the air quality. But we will look that up. And right here we can go to this link and we can extend our product to an extra year of warranty just by scanning this barcode right here.